For the student example, when you're making your video, we want to talk in terms of reinforcement. Now, I know we mentioned in class reinforcement versus punishment. That was just to get a comparison. But when you talk about the skill, talk about the reinforcement that was used to not only create the fire churn and combine it with the whip drill or use it like a whip drill, but how was that reinforcement important for this assignment? So what was the reward? Was it your grade? Was it the pure interest in the subject? Was it a combination of those two? Was the feedback provided by the instructor, was that reinforcing? Was it provided in a way where you could get information? Was it constructive feedback? Did they tell you, no, you're just doing that wrong? Or did they say, that element's wrong, and then provided details? That would be constructive feedback. For me, I like to use the sandwich method, meaning ideally, if I can, I wanna sandwich the instruction between two positives. Like, overall, you did a good job. Here's what you're doing well. Here's what you need to improve upon. But in general, you did a great job. So that would be the sandwich method. Now it could be, no, you're doing that wrong, right? Something negative. Then I give you some feedback, like this element's wrong, this element's wrong, this element's wrong. If you correct those things, you'll be able to perform this skill correctly. Now that was kind of sandwiching between two negatives. Doesn't really give you that good feel. So if you can find something that somebody's doing right and point it out and start off with that, they're going to be way more receptive to your feedback. That's what I want you to talk about in this video. How was this whip drill assignment used in conjunction with reinforcement?